Can we go thrift shopping? What, 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 what? Hey everybody, it's Shayna, also known as Thrifty Nurse. I am currently at an appointment waiting on my daughter, so I'm right next to a highway and it's really loud. Sorry if y'all can hear that. Um, this video today is going to be about some sales that I had over the last week or two. Um, I'll be posting some bolo items, which if you don't know, that means be on the lookout for things that you can pick up and resell for a lot more than you paid usually. Um, I have about, I think it was about $1,700 in profit and I spent maybe 130s or 140s on all the items. Some of them were items that we already had, like either my kids' old clothes or my old clothes, and most of those I pick up thrifted or secondhand, so I didn't pay very much for them, but a lot of them I don't remember exactly what I paid. Um, so those were kind of just a guesstimate. And then I also feel like if you use something for, you know, a year or two, you kind of got your money out of it. So I don't really know how you calculate your cost on that stuff. So most of those I just kind of guesstimated. Um, and then I had several items that came from Goodwill Blue Box or Shop Goodwill Boxes, like jewelry mostly, where you get five pounds for $30. And those ones I'm not real sure how to calculate either. I would say I probably have less than a dollar in those items because you get so much in the box um, but some of it's not sellable some of it you have to lot up it just depends um, so those are kind of hard to calculate accurately too but that's still really good profit margins overall in my opinion and I'm really happy with these sales um, I had one really big art sale that you'll see at the end that's my bolo of the week and I did have some issues with that on shipping which I'll talk about in the video but yeah Hope you guys enjoy this. If you want to see more reselling content, um, thrift with me, what sold, bolo items, that sort of thing, just like and subscribe and click on the little bell to get alerts when I post videos. I'm going to try to post about every week and I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye! This first item is a pair of pajama pants. I think I found these at Goodwill for a dollar and some change and they sold for seven dollars plus shipping. Um, I had them listed a while so I was glad to see them go. The second one is a pair of my daughter's old shoes. I think I got these at a consignment sale for pretty cheap and just listed them cheap to get rid of them. This is a jacket from Anthropology. I found at Goodwill for three or four dollars. It sold for 32 plus shipping. I thought it would go a little higher. The embroidery was super pretty, but it sold at least. And this is a pillow. I always get these tapestry pillows when I see them. I usually pick them up for 50 cents, which is how much this one was. It sold for $22 plus shipping, and it took maybe a couple weeks to sell. I think I've sold every one I've ever gotten, though. First bro bolo alert. This is a Kyle Busch NASCAR shirt. It had some really cool patches. I found it at Goodwill for two or three dollars. It sold for 39 plus shipping and NASCAR stuff in general I've done really well with when I found it. Um, I found a bunch of hats once that I made like two or three hundred dollars on so NASCAR can definitely be a great bolo. This is a Drew Barrymore autograph picture I got on Shop Goodwill. I think I paid 15 ish for it. Sold it for 40 I got this in a lot of three different autograph pictures, and two of them have sold so far for about 40 each. This is a Richard Bramble pottery dish. My brother picked this up for me at a Goodwill out of state for $3, and it sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, comps on his stuff in general look pretty good. This is a Liz Claiborne vintage dress. I found it at a thrift store for about $2. Sold it for $31 plus shipping on eBay. This is a Disney customized glass. It looks like somebody used a Cricut. They put the name Lindsay on it and then the other side it has the castle. Sold it for $15 plus shipping and I paid a dollar or two at Goodwill. This is a scarf I picked up at Goodwill for like a dollar or two. It only sold for six. I thought it would go a little bit higher when I checked the comps. They looked a little bit better, but it sat for a long time and I just wanted to get rid of it, so I let it go for six dollars. This is an old box. I think I got this at a yard sale a really long time ago for like 50 cents or a dollar. 
and my daughter was going to use it and then she just never did. Um, it had a really pretty like rose carving on the top. I think it was a jewelry box. And then on the inside you'll see right here it had some damage so it sold for $12 plus shipping and I was just glad to get rid of it. This is a Castles and Crowns Boutique bathing suit for girls. It sold for $10 plus shipping. It was a three-piece set. I got it at a consignment sale years ago for my daughter. I think I paid three or four dollars for it. So it was just one of her things I was getting rid of. This is a backpack I picked up at Goodwill for I think two dollars a couple years ago and I used it for school when I was in nursing school and it sold for $18 plus shipping. It is a Jansport backpack, which I have heard those can be a bolo and great to pick up, but it took a while to sell. This is a Kim Rogers and Kato set I put together. I found this in a freebie lot, so I just listed it really cheap because the brands aren't really anything that sells real high. But it sold for $5 plus shipping, and that was $5 I didn't have before. This is a tuxedo. I got the whole set at a yard sale last summer for a dollar. It sold for 15 plus shipping. I probably could have held out for more on it. It was a pretty nice set, but I was just glad for it to go. It's been listed for a couple months, and the person who bought it said their son is wearing it to prom, so I thought that was really sweet. This was my daughter's items. Um, she outgrew, and I probably got them at like a yard sale or a thrift store at some point. I just sold them for $5 plus shipping. It was one of those things I just wanted to get rid of, and one of the first items I listed quite a while ago when I started selling. These are some pants I found for free by Peter Millar. Uh, they sold for $18 plus shipping. I thought they might go for a little bit more, but I was pretty happy with that considering I did not pay anything for them. They did take a little while to sell though. This is a pottery mug. You put beer in it or a drink and then you can't set it down because of how the handle is shaped so you have to drink it all at once, like chug it. <laughs> a patient gave it to me for free. It was sold for $18. I had to look it up. I had no idea what it was and that's the stock photo I found. This is a coat I found in a huge bag, actually two bags full of coats that I got for free. It sold for $9 plus shipping. It's London Fog brand. I think I've made about 150 or 175 off of all these coats I got for free so far, so that was a great find. This is a necklace I got in a Goodwill blue box. Um, it's hard to really say what I have in it because the box is five pounds for like $35 shipped. Probably less than a dollar I would guess in it. And it is Brighton brand and it's vintage I believe and it took a a good while to sell not too long and it sold for $12 plus shipping these are some prints I found at the thrift store for a dollar um, I sold them for $16 plus shipping they're vintage they have like the big eyes that was a keyword I used and they had some damage on the corners which I disclosed of course this is a U UPS hat that I got for free. I actually got a whole bunch of UPS, like uniform, coats, pants, all kinds of stuff, but that's the only thing I've listed so far. And it sold for $18 plus shipping, and I'm kind of wishing I had lotted it up maybe with the coat and stuff, but oh well. This is a purse I got. I can't remember if I got this for free or at a yard sale. If I got it at a yard sale, it was a dollar, but it sold for $29 plus shipping. It's Steve Madden brand. It was super pretty. It looked almost brand new. Um, I almost wanted to keep it, but I didn't. This is a, another thing I got out of the Goodwill Blue Box. It's a little jelly belly pendant. Um, it has the jewel in the middle, like where the belly would be. It's vintage from 1980 made by Amway and it sold for $9 plus shipping and it took a little while to sell. This is a lot of crystal Savorsky style rhinestone jewelry. There was like I think four necklaces and two bracelets and two rings or something. You can kind of see in the picture there but it sold for $30 plus shipping and it was all from a Goodwill blue box as well. This is another Goodwill Blue Box item. It is a gold tone rose flower pin brooch vintage thing. It sold for $8 plus shipping. It was really pretty. It did take 
maybe a month or two to sell, um, like most of the jewelry seems to do, but it sold, yay! This is a table runner I found at Goodwill. I think I paid a dollar and some change, sold it for 15 plus shipping. It was burgundy color and it had gold elephant, like boho hippie design on it. It was really cute. This is a pair of shoes I found at Salvation Army for $1.99. I was going to sell them a lot higher. They're Saucony Spitfire, but you can see some of the spikes were missing, so I had to knock the price down to 6 plus shipping. Another Bolo alert. So Oakley brand I've found several times now. This is a hoodie, Factory Pilot hoodie by Oakley. I sold for $30 plus shipping. Got it at Goodwill for $3, and everything I've ever found Oakley brand, I found boots and other clothing items, has sold really good for me and for pretty great prices. I think the boots I sold for like 70 bucks, and I picked them up for $3 at Goodwill also. So that's a great brand to pick up if you ever see it. These are some shoes by Cole Haan I picked up for $1.99. They had a lot of wear on them. I ended up knocking the price down to $9 plus shipping. I probably wouldn't have picked them up nowadays, but this was back when I first started sourcing and I didn't really know what I was doing, so uh, just glad they sold. This is a vintage ashtray, AK Kaiser. It's Got a floral design. It was absolutely gorgeous. I found it for a dollar at a local thrift store here and sold it for $14 plus shipping and I just thought it was really beautiful. I actually thought it would go for a little bit more than it did, but that was a pretty good profit for a dollar investment. This I picked up at the same thrift store for a dollar. It sold for $16 plus shipping. It's a Nike Golf Medalist Pro Tour pullover. It had the dry fit material. And it sold fairly quickly. This is a Victoria's Secret swimsuit. I believe I got this for free. It sold for 14 plus shipping. It was a light pink color and it had like some silver metal details with the logo. Um, it didn't sell as high as I thought it would. Their swimsuits in general don't seem to do as good as I thought they would, but it did sell. This is some scrubs I had that I used to wear, uh, Grey's Anatomy, sold for $9 plus shipping. I think I got it at a thrift store, a yard sale, a couple dollars at the most. Wore it for a while and now it just doesn't fit. And there's another one that used to be mine, sold for $9 plus shipping. It's Barco brand. I think this one I got at a yard sale for a dollar if I recall. And wore it for a while and sold it. This is one of my husband's old shirts, sold for $9 plus shipping. It's just a Walmart brand. It had a banana print on it. It was really fun, and the shadow is terrible. That was when I was not great at taking pictures <laughs> when I started. This is some van shorts. I got these at a thrift store for a dollar, sold them for $19 plus shipping. They were still brand new with the tags on them, so I was happy with that sale. That was a pretty good find. This, this is a Fisher Price Winnie the Pooh Disney um, plush. It made some noise and moved and talked. Sold it for $18 plus shipping and I got it for $0.50 cents at a thrift store. This is a gargoyle candle holder. I found this for free actually, I think on the side of the road. It sold for $19 plus shipping. It was really cool. It holds like three candles and it was pewter or silver looking color. Uh, yeah, it was really neat. This is a tapestry rug I found at Salvation Army for $2. It's vintage. It's like an Arabian Nights theme. It sold for $73 plus shipping. I see, I've see. i seen others that I looked up when I was checking comps that sold for sometimes up to $200. But this one did have a little bit of damage around the edges as you'll see in this next picture right there. It had a couple spots like that. So I was happy to get what I got for it, especially for what I paid. These are some shoes I got at Salvation Army for $1.99 by Jeffrey Campbell Tahiti Last. They sold for $20 plus shipping. I had never heard of this brand before, but it seems to be a bolo when I looked at comps. It seems like they usually sell for pretty good price, and that's what the label looks like inside the shoe. This is a purse I found, I think at 
Goodwill for a dollar or two, and it's Bueno brand. It had a butterfly print. It was like a velvet material. It looked almost brand new. Um, it was a really nice purse. And it sold for $18 plus shipping. It had this hard bottom, like a snakeskin kind of print. It was really cool. This is a pair of curtains I found at Goodwill for $1.89, I think. I sold them for $30 plus shipping. They were really pretty. They had like a cottage core kind of butterfly print. Um, I really like those myself. This is a Vera Bradley wallet. I think I got this for a dollar or for free. It was sold for $16 plus shipping. I'll usually pick up Vera if I find it cheap enough. It doesn't sell the highest, but it sells. This is another vintage purse. This one I think I got for free or at Goodwill for $2 and it sold for $21 plus shipping. It didn't have a brand, but it had this really cool like shell on the front and it was a unique shape and it had the wooden handles. These are a pair of Harley Davidson boots. I picked these up at Salvation Army for $1.99. They sold for $35 plus shipping. I think I probably could have got a little bit more for them, but they sold really quickly. So that was nice, and I love when Salvation Army does the $1.99 shoe sale. I always stock up. This was a great find at Goodwill for $3. Sold it for $50 plus shipping. It's a Critical Role Vox Machina jacket or hoodie. Um, I'm not really familiar with what that is. I think it's an anime thing. It came from Hot Topic, and it says Slayers of Dragons and Gods and the Occasional Cupcake, I think. This is a plush I found for 50 cents. It's like a skull monkey. I sold it for $16 plus shipping. It kind of looks like the Skull Animals brand, which is a bolo, and I've sold that before too. This I picked up at a estate sale. Paid eight, sold for 22 plus shipping. It's a vintage gondola from Italy. I couldn't test it because it had a European plug, which I didn't realize until after I bought it. I probably could have sold it higher if I could have tested it. It had lights and made music and stuff like that, but it was still a quick sale. Another bolo alert, Free People Jet Set Diaries Lace Dress, picked up for $5 at a yard sale, sold it for $72 plus shipping. I knew it would sell high, it was absolutely beautiful, it was almost brand new, and that's a great brand to pick up in general, free people. I had never seen the Jet Set before, but that was pretty neat. It was a great dress. This is a JoJo's Closet dress I got at Goodwill for 2 or $3, sold it for $20 plus shipping. I don't usually pick up kids' clothes anymore, but this was cute enough, I thought it would be worth getting. This is a Lead Tiger vintage track jacket I picked up at Goodwill for $2, sold it for $22 plus shipping. It did have a tear on the underarm that I had to sew and fix, but that was a really quick, simple fix. This is a vintage patchwork handmade blanket I picked up for $3 at Goodwill, sold it for $67 plus shipping. I actually got three blankets that day and I've sold all of them for great prices. These vintage blankets can be a bolo. They definitely can make a lot of money if you get the right one. This is a Kim Rogers watch. It came in a Goodwill blue box, probably less than a dollar in it, and sold it for $17. And it sold really fast after I posted it. I was kind of surprised. I didn't think it would sell as fast as it did. This is another watch. I sold for $75. I believe it was Citizen brand. It could have sold for a lot more. It came in a Goodwill blue box, eight pounds for $50, I think. Unfortunately, it had a crack on the top corner up there, you can see. Otherwise, I could have sold it for double or triple what I did, but the person who bought it knows how to fix them, so they were really excited to get a good deal. This is the swimsuit I picked up at, I think, Goodwill for a dollar or two. Sold it for $15 plus shipping. Um, that's a stock photo of it that I found. I couldn't find the brand. There was no tags, so I had to do measurements and all that, but it sold really quickly, and it was a really cute swimsuit. This is a Secret Treasures robe. It's just a Walmart brand. I think I got it for a dollar or two and sold it for nine dollars. One of those items I picked up that I probably wouldn't get now because it's not really worth your time with the profit, but still a sale. 
This is a, a bracelet I got in a Goodwill Blue Box, less than a dollar in it, sold for $8 plus shipping. It sold really quickly. It was hard to get pictures of it because of the shape of it, but it had these big like crystal stones in the center of the flowers. It was pretty cool. This is a puzzle I got for a dollar at a local thrift store, sold it for 12 plus shipping. I thought it was sealed, but it turns out it wasn't. I had to message the buyer and let them know, but luckily they still wanted it. So that was a good sale. This is a Disney 101 Dalmatians framed lithograph I got for $2 at Salvation Army, sold it for $22 plus shipping, and yeah, that was an easy, quick sale and not too bad to ship. These are some scrubs of mine that I sold that I don't wear anymore for $12 plus shipping. I probably got them at thrift stores or yard sales for pretty cheap, and it was two pieces, not three. The third piece I actually sold separately prior to this. This is one of my daughter's items. It was a justice jacket sold for $5 plus shipping. I think I got this at a consignment sale for $2 when I bought it for her. So I still sold it for more than I paid and it was just something to get rid of. This is a bracelet from one of the Goodwill Blue Boxes. It sold for $10 plus shipping, probably less than a dollar in it. It did have the 925 silver stamp on the clasp, but it didn't go for very much. Lily Pulitzer cardigan, this came from a Goodwill blue box as well, maybe a couple dollars at the most in it, and it sold for $14 plus shipping. Thought it would go for more, but it didn't. These are some Ralph Lauren shorts. I think I got these for free. They sold for $15 plus shipping. They were like this vintage style. Um, Tyler was the name of the actual style, but like a vintage Madras print. And this is the tag, it was the blue label. The black label I think is the best, most expensive one. This is a Princess Diana Bell, Royal Wedding Bell, I found at Salvation Army for a dollar, sold it for $20 plus shipping. Everybody loves Princess Diana, I figured it would do good. I didn't even look at comps, I just grabbed it when I saw it and figured it'd be worth picking up and it was. So this bolo alert is more for the brand than the item. This is a Department 56 Silhouette Girl. It, I got it for a dollar, sold it for 10. Not that great, bread and butter. But Department 56 in general is a huge bolo. Their Christmas houses, like the village houses and Halloween stuff sells for a lot of money sometimes. And I've sold every single item I've ever gotten of their brand and that's the stamp. This is a Napco Wear Vintage Pheasant peasant Bird Figurine, sold for $12 plus shipping. I think I paid $2 at Salvation Army for it, and it sat for a lot longer than I thought it would. I had to knock the price down quite a bit, but it finally sold, and I was glad to see it go. That's the stamp on it. Uh, Napco Wear can also be a bolo, depending on the item. It, usually, it's good to pick up. This is a Noah's Ark votive candle holder I got for $2 at Salvation Army, sold it for $14 plus shipping. That's another item I thought would go a little bit higher than it did, and it also sat for quite a while, but it was really cool, I thought. This is a Fisher Price, or I'm sorry, Play School Vintage Play Mat for Baby. It sold for $18 plus shipping. I got it for a dollar at a local thrift store. It had like little pockets and little dangly toys and teether toys on it. Um, vintage baby stuff can do really well too sometimes. This is a Harry Potter framed art set, five pieces, sold for $26 plus pretty high cost shipping because of the size. I got this as a gift for Christmas and just never used it so I decided I would sell it so it was free. These are coach shoes I got for $1.99, sold for $12 plus shipping. Unfortunately, they had a bit more wear than I noticed when I bought them, so I priced them cheaper accordingly. Um, I thought they would clean up a bit better than they did, and they also sat for a while, so I was just glad to get rid of them. These jeans, I think I got these for free. They were sold for $14 plus shipping. They had like a lace floral design on the one side you can see there. I thought they were really pretty. I thought they would go a bit higher. I think I originally had them priced uh, about $10 more and then I took an offer for 14. 
but they also sat for longer than I thought they would. They were Interflow brand, and they were a smaller size. That might be why they sat. This is a wine gift set. It came with, like, bottle opener and a cork thing and the little charms sold for $19 plus shipping. I think I picked this up at Goodwill for $2. This is a purse I think I got for free. It sold for $12 plus shipping. It didn't have a brand. It was really huge. It had like three really big compartments. Um, just a simple basic black fake leather purse. This is a Barbie set I sold for $15 plus shipping. It's a fridge and a stove vintage. I got this in a lot for $5 with a bunch of other Barbie stuff. And I think total all together I made about... $125 off the $5 purchase, so that was a great buy. This is a Vera Bradley Peacock trinket box, sold it for $16 plus shipping. I think I got this at Goodwill for $2. Um, it was really pretty, it had this peacock design, and it was made by Andrea Sadek, I think it says on the back, it'll show you in a minute. This is the inside of it, um, and then here comes the back. Yeah, Andrea Sadik is the designer with Vera Bradley. This is my son's old shirt. Sold it for $7 plus shipping. Pac-Man t-shirt, Nintendo. It had some wear, so I was just glad to get rid of it. The last bolo and the last item is a Patrick Nagel vintage 80s art print. I got this at Salvation Army for $6, sold it for $2.50 plus pretty high shipping due to the size. I think it was like 30 some by 20 some inches, it was really big. Um, I knew it would sell when I saw it, I didn't realize it would be that valuable. When I looked up comps they were kind of all over the place so I wasn't really sure what to price it. This is the signature here. But I priced it at $2.50 as a guess, it sold almost instantly after posting it within like an hour I think and I found out later I could have asked like five or six hundred for it so that was unfortunate but still a great profit unfortunately when I shipped it um, it arrived to the buyer completely shattered so that was devastating I didn't know what to do I ended up helping them process a return with Mercari the buyer got their money back but luckily Mercari was amazing and stood by the seller as well, me, and they gave me my shipping protection on it since I used one of their labels. So I got the full sale price of the item even though it arrived broken and that's just a risk you take with fragile items. I did package it very well. I think next time I'll pay to have it professionally packaged if I sell something like this again. I think it would be worth it. But um, I've only had, this is the second time I've had something break out of over 1,200 sales I've made now. So not too bad. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment. And I hope I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. One man's trash, that's another man's come up. Oh.